This is the plaintiff, Jason Gore. He says he was making a right turn when the impatient defendant crossed over the double yellow line, came onto his side of the street, and struck him on the left side. He was issued two tickets at the scene by the cops, and when he submitted the claim to the defendant's insurance company, they refused to pay. Since the defendant also refuses to pay, he's suing him in court for the $3,000 he's owed to fix his damages. This is the defendant, the old Baldo Mejia. He says he had the right of way, and the plaintiff was the one in some sort of hurry. He didn't stop at his stop sign, and they collided. His insurance company investigated the accident. They found out the plaintiff was 100% at fault, and this guy's grasping at straws by filing this suit, because he owes him nothing. He's accused of crossing the line. All parties, please raise your right hand. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case in the docket, the plaintiff says the defendant crossed the double yellow line and nailed him. But the defendant says he had the right of way and the plaintiff blew a stop sign. It's the case of, what's your sign? Thank you, Douglas. You're welcome, man. Jason Gore, you are suing Teobaldo Mejia for $3,000. You say you're out actually $5,000. For a 1999 Ford Crown Victoria that he damaged when, according to you, he was at fault in an accident. What happened? Correct. Okay, uh, it happened on September 13th. Um, I received a phone call from my wife. She was involved in a little fender bender, so I went out to assist her. Okay, who is that okay. with you? This is my wife. Okay, so okay. she had an accident. She had an accident that same day. So you go out to assist before. her. Yes. Correct. And on the way, you have an accident? On the way home. <laughs> on the way home on from way assisting home. her, you have an accident. I have an accident, That yes. is the worst thing I've ever... Well, oh it's not God. the worst thing I've me? ever heard, but it's a pretty bad thing. It's pretty bad, yes. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, it's so surreal. Yeah. But, um, uh, you know, I went to assist her. Everything was fine. That turned out to be just a little fender better, nothing to concern anything about. She okay. was all right. Everything was good. So we're on our way home. Um, You're both in, in the car? No, she's in Do her own car. Okay. She's in a separate car. I'm traveling to my car now. Um... There's two intersections in, here, in my town here. Here, see if this, um, why don't you come on over here? And why don't you pick a car to be you? I'll take the Impala. Take the Impala? I'll take the Impala. Yes, <laughs> an upgrade over your 1990, <laughs> yes, okay. Yes. And okay. then. So this is underneath the bridge, okay. obviously. So okay. that bridge is what, is it a train? Or it's is a train it... bridge, yes. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, so the stop sign is actually further back from the corner. Okay. Um, and there's a pedestrian pathway that runs along here on this road to the okay. other side. So uh, when you come to the stop sign, the stop sign is actually back here. Okay. So if you stop at the stop sign, you can't see if anybody's coming down the walkway, the pedestrian pathway, they're on a bike or you know, So you have foot. to go very slow. So you have to creep up to the corner. So that's exactly what I did. Um, I observed no one coming down the pedestrian path. I turned to my right, didn't see anyone coming. I turned to my left, there was a couple of vehicles you know, down the way proceeding in my direction. Um, the next thing I know, I look back and I see the truck coming in like this. Okay, to my you side put of the car. your car beyond the. In, no, if that's where you mean to put it, put it. But I need yeah. to understand. So, were you gonna make your? Were you gonna make a I right? I was gonna make. You can only make a right turn here. Okay, so you were gonna make a right. I was gonna make a right turn. Okay. Right. How far along did you get in making a right? Not far at all. None. Okay, I, I, I was just I, at the stop sign. So put your car where it was when the impact happens. Right here. All right, and then what happens? He's in the truck. There's he, a truck? This is a truck. Okay. A and what's he, what happened? Truck. So, like I said, I looked to my right, didn't see any. I looked to my left, seen two cars coming. When I looked back to my right, he was already so here. So, were you going to make the right or the two cars? I was going to make the right, but I, you but know, I was waiting cars, for the But the two cars, that's what I meant. Right. Where you were going to wait for those two cars wait to pass. Wait for the two cars to pass, yes. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. So, when I look back, his car is already here coming into me, and all I saw was his face, expression on his face, and... What did it, it look like? <laughs> okay. Like, all right. And uh, so I see his face and comes into the car in like a split second, but you know, everything happens in slow motion sometimes. Sure. So I'm seeing the pieces fly up all over my car and everything. And, and the first thing that came to my head, Your Honor, was I can't believe this is happening. Yeah, that's what would come into my head. I'm not even <laughs> so mad that you what, said that. Exactly. All right. Um, what's he say when he gets out of the car? Well, he doesn't get out of the car. I get out of my car. I go over to the front of my car and I look at it. And the only thing I can do at that point, I just. Okay, do you have pictures? Let's see the pictures. Yes, I do have pictures. Of the vehicle. Is this your vehicle? That was before the damage, yes. Okay. Did you pay to get it fixed or not yet? I did not yet, no. So you're driving around like this? No, I have another car. I bought okay. another one after the fact. 
Okay, what happened? Why don't you go ahead and come over here and you tell me how you say it happened. Right this way, sir. Well, I was coming and I made my left. Mm -hmm. The way you say, if a car's coming here when I was making my left, it would be crashing my car. Okay. So. Maybe, maybe you're more, uh, less what, cautious than he is. First, first, thing, first thing what happened is when I come here, I come myself, come first to here. And I see he was coming. I expect him that he's gonna hold his brakes until I make my left, because even if he come to the stop sign, you gotta watch for the cars coming this way. Right. If he, I make my left the way he say, and see he say he was coming cars and then be crashing his car. Okay. And I, I be not available to Either make that my Either that or you're left. trying to cut in front of the cars really fast and you don't gauge it right. That's the other possibility. But where does the accident happen according to you? It, it probably, the, the way he say. Well, the way he says, you have to pull everything down another two inches. Because he says that he was in the intersection. Because is it right here is a, is a walking path. Okay, so when I come to the corner, I see he was coming. And if he, and he, if he, he say he wasn't a rush, he tried to make his right. Well, why are but, you in the path that a car would come? In other words, like if it's, all right. If you're making your left, I do not understand why it would affect anyway. This is how things should work. So uh, I don't well, understand why you're, you're no, no, because where he would no, be. No, right here, you see, when you make this right, mm -hmm. the, the street is this one, but when you come to the Okay, the so I'll put him here. here. But why can't you just clear and not hit him? See what I'm asking? Um, I mean, it's it's the street in there is kind of is kind of narrow. It's not like a, it's not like a, you can run two cars in this in this road. It's it's one in one, you know. Okay, go it's, ahead and come over here, back to your spot, and let me ask you. The police were called, correct? Yes. Did the two of you talk before the police got there? No. So if an insurance company, uh, if an insurance company rules say that one person is at fault, can that person then say, I don't, I don't buy it, and I'm going to take you to court, and the judge can rule differently? Is that possible? Well, if you're in court, then the case hasn't settled, which means you're a trial. Or am I allowed to go to court if uh, the insurance company's already said that I'm at fault? If they don't settle, you're obviously entitled to court, and you always, always maintain appellate rights. And real quickly, does the judge is the judge bound by what the insurance company says? I would say no, no, not at all. Okay, going inside the courtroom. Okay, so the police get there, and they talk to each of you, correct? Correct. All right, is there a police report? There is. I have a. Okay, copy may there. I have the police report? Yes. Is this the intersection? That is the intersection, correct, and you can see the stop sign. So the stop sign is like five, six, seven, eight feet maybe, back from, wow. Right. You so when you're actually in, trying to make the turn here, you have to have the front of your car pretty much where this line is so you can see if anybody's coming down the path. Of course. Because it's blind, you can't see that area there. And this trestle that's, that's there, is that blocking that's blocking you from even seeing who's on this side. Correct. Well, you got to be really careful when you make that left. Uh, yeah, it's, it's really bad. Very dangerous. Wow. All right, so the police give you all the tickets, right? Two weeks later, they send me tickets. I mean, they send me a ticket for, uh, I never hear that, solid line cross. Failure to maintain lane. Vehicle one had damage to the driver door. Vehicle two had damage to the front end. Officers note. Vehicle two was stopped at the stop sign on Mott Avenue when vehicle one cut the corner and struck vehicle two in the front bumper. And then he draws where the cars are during the impact and he draws them just where he says they were. And this is where he draws them. And you're just making a really weird tight left, which leads me to believe that you're making it in a blind panic because you were trying to cut the traffic that was coming from this way. There's no other reason for your car to be there positioned, according to what the police say, positioned like that, which is just how he says it was positioned. Your car making a left should be clearing it just fine. It's a two-lane road. One for him, one for you, not one and a half for you. Now, he has insurance, and you made a claim on his insurance, and what happened? Insurance what insurance company? do you have? State Farm. And? I have progressive. I made a claim with them. 
Oh, you may, oh, but did you go to State Farm or you never I went? I did. I went through State Farm. I called a, a representative from State Farm, explained the situation. Uh, he sent me a letter. On, Denying it? Well, not at first. On, uh, he sent me did a letter first. Did he eventually first. deny it? Yes, they eventually denied it and saying, uh, we've carefully investigated the facts and circumstances related to this loss. Our investigation indicates that our insured is not legally liable. Therefore, oh, we must police. respectfully deny it. They're 100% wrong and just trying to hold on to their money. Yes, thank you. So Geico did the repair? No, no, or no gave one did the repair. gave you full value? No, no, no one did the repair. I still have the car. I was expecting the, the insurance I mean, company. I mean, not Geico. I'm sorry, Progressive. No, because it's it's old. It, it was, I guess, you know. Yeah, because you're trying to out. get the repair here, and you're not going to get it here either. No, right. Because the law says that you're capped at the blue book value of the car. The, the the value of the object at the time that it's destroyed is what you get. You don't get. But I love it so much, so it's worth five thousand or three thousand. Oh no, I don't. I don't think. Right. That well, you're suing for three thousand. That's over double what the blue book value of that car is. Did you know that? Over double? Over no, I, double. I didn't. I didn't realize that. I, I had a uh, Kelly Blue Book thing. It said like the, uh, it was up to like twenty five hundred or something like that. No. For a private sale. Private sale. Private sale. Mid range. Mid range. I'm gonna assume it's in good condition. Oh, private look, sale. Well, you saw the pictures. It's thirteen thirty one. Thirteen thirty one. That's what the Blue Book value, the average Blue Book value is. Um, oh. Can I just add uh, yeah. something else, Your Honor? Yeah. I did actually, two days before that, had 400 and some odd dollars put into the front end. Are you kidding me? No, I'm not. Oh, it just rains and pours on you, doesn't it? Oh, my God. This is Let the worst day that. ever. Let me see that. You've got to be kidding me. Okay, but a flat repair, a wheel balance. I had tie rod and tie rod. a pitman arm installed. And why did you have a tie rod and a pitman arm installed? Well, they were worn out, so I needed new ones. So that's what brings it to good condition. Well, perfect condition. <laughs> Let's get it straight. You know perfect what? It really condition. did. I got to say, those pictures of before really do look good. Right. Let me no, take a look. Your Honor, that's a 99. People always used to mistake it for, you know, 2010 or better. I take good care of all my vehicles. Well, I hope you take care of your women the same way. Oh, of course. <laughs> right? and, and not all of them, just that one. That, that, that didn't have the right <laughs> ring when you said. Um... I am going to order, I find the defendant at fault, and I'm going to order the defendant to pay $1,600 to the plaintiff. Um, I think it's, it, that would be a fair assessment under the circumstances. Good luck to you. Uh, goodbye. <laughs> well, Judge Melian finds for the plaintiff in this case, Mr. Mihai, you, you're on the hook for $1,600. What do you think? Well, you know, um, I'm driving for New Jersey to here, so uh, I think it's it's, it's okay. fair for him well, instead of fighting with the bottom insurance. line is they found you you know liable and that's the way it is. Okay, yeah. thank you. Be more careful now. Okay, Mr. Gore. Finally, I know you're Pleasure. surprised at the 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 value of the car. You thought it was worth a lot more. Well, I didn't think it was worth a lot more. It was worth a lot more to me, to obviously. You, sure. um, but I felt three thousand dollars was fair. Um, being at the condition the car was in, um, being that I had to actually go out so and purchase another car after it, less than half it, but you know, it's something to start. I knew I'd had to pay something, even if they, you know, told the car out and gave me 2500 or whatever, I'd still had to put something. Sorry you had such a bad day. That yeah. is a rough thing to it's go rough. through, okay? <laughs> but it's better now. Good luck to you. Thank you Thank very, you very much. You. Okay, Thank take you. care. Thank you. Harvey? Doug, real simple. Uh, judges are not only not bound by what insurance companies say, they're not bound by what the police say. When a judge gets a case, it is a fresh look. And that will do it for this case. Litigants, for the next case on their way into the courtroom, right now.